Hello, my name is Arnold Delorme and in this short video I'm going to show you how to uh, run some analysis on the supercomputer using some uh, EEG dataset stored on uh, this website, uh, NIMAR, which we administered and this has all kinds of uh, EEG and intracranial EEG dataset you see here about 186 um, experiments are stored and I'm going to demo specifically using one of the data set that's called uh, D02718. And uh, this is face processing EEG data set. This data set is very popular in the community because it has EEG, MEG, fMRI, MRI. And so it's used by many different groups. So we're going to take this data set and hopefully within five minutes uh, getting uh, getting it analyzed on the uh, expand supercomputer so the san diego uh, supercomputer uh, so this data set has many different subjects uh, 19 subjects and contains uh, eeg data and so we're going to process that data and output some uh, basic statistics um, so um, let's write down this number here and we're going to go here, uh, NIMAR and NHD. So this is the page that describes how to uh, process data set on NSG, so the Neuroscience Gateway, which is the interface to the San Diego supercomputer. And uh, there is three phase, basically. Phase number one, write a short script. Phase number two, upload the script. And phase number three, run the script. So we're going to do these three things. And uh, there are some scripts available here. You can run MATLAB and Python script. Here we're going to run a, a, a MATLAB script. So here is one of the MATLAB script and a tutorial of how to run it. Um, so here I'm just going to copy and I'm going to paste this into uh, a new document. And you remember that data set number? Uh, this is where we have to enter it ds002718 and we have to put back the quote where it belongs here and now we're going to save this data set when you copy and paste on your own computer sometimes there's spurious characters so the script might not run so you have to be careful about that um, but here uh, this should work so I'm going to make this plain text because I don't want to save it in word format for example and I'm going to save it uh, to be able to run it on the supercomputers. Here, I'm first going to create a folder, an SG demo, and I'm going to call this script input.m, which is the default uh, on the NSG. So that will come useful. So I've saved that script and now I'm ready to upload it. To first to upload it, I need to compress it. That's done. And I'm going to go to the NSG portal right here. Redirect to NSG portal, yes. Portal. And here I need to log in. So if you don't have an account yet on NSG, you will need to register to obtain an account. Anybody that works for a non-commercial entity anywhere in the world can register for uh, an account. And these are manually vetted. Once you have an account, you can log in. And the first thing we're going to do is to upload uh, the data. So upload the data, choose the file, NSG demo. And now I have, uh, I actually have had uploaded it before, but I now have two copies of uh, the same file basically. Uh, so here you see data and tasks. So now I'm going to create a task. So you're here, create a new task. I'm going to call it uh, DS002718 demo. Uh, I'm going to select the input data. And um, so the one I just uploaded it is this one. Uh, I'm going to select the tool. You can select MATLAB, EEG Lab, so MATLAB here, EEG Lab. You can also select Python. Here I'm going to select EEG Lab because even though I could select MATLAB, I need the tools to import uh, the data. So EEG Lab has the tool and EEG Lab runs on MATLAB. So here I selected EEG Lab. Then uh, I have five parameters, uh, number of time I want to run it. By default, 
get 246 uh, 43 gigabyte of RAM and uh, 128 core on the node that it will reserve. It will only reserve it for 30 minutes and here you can go up to 48 hours uh, if you want to. So I'm going to save the parameters which are the default and now I'm ready to run the task. So the task is now running, it's this one. Uh, we can see uh, what's the status. It is queued. So it's going to take about 15 minutes to run from the time being queued to uh, allocation being reserved and all the data sets being imported and the statistics being computed on, on the data sets. And then I'll get an email telling me uh, it's ready. But as in all the cooking shows, uh, I already did it. So I can just show you the results uh, right here. And uh, for example, on uh, this one. So this one says completed. I just run it like uh, 10 minutes ago and uh, I can view the output. So you have free output here, uh, some uh, text output, which here contains the text as if you had run it on your own machine. So this is the EGLab output. And then at the end, it contains, oops, it contains uh, some statistics that were computed on these data sets. Uh, you see 18 data sets, 74 channels, uh, how many seconds, uh, etc. You can obviously do whatever you want. It's a script. So any custom MATLAB code you want to enter in your script, uh, you can use uh, their EGLab script. So uh, if you go on the EGLab, uh, web page, there is uh, a collection of pipelines you can run on bits data set. So you can use these uh, on the uh, supercomputer uh, on any of the NSG data sets. And the advantage here is that uh, we did not have to upload uh, this data set. Uh, it was already on the supercomputer. And so we were just giving the link. Uh, where is it on the supercomputer? and then uh, you can just uh, process it. So any data set that is in NIMAR, uh, you can process on the supercomputer. And if you have your own data set, of course, you can also upload it to NHG, but that will take uh, time depending on the size of your data set. So that's the uh, text output. And there is also this uh, uh, output file. So here, if we download this file, it contains any file I might have saved using the script. And as it happened, uh, I actually saved the file. So these are um, bookkeeping files, but this is my folder NSG demo. And you see the script I run and along it a results.txt txt that contains the text I output. So in this file, I wrote uh, this simple file. But I could also have printed some figures uh, and then save uh, the printed uh, figure uh, if I wanted to in this output folder. So this is, this is it for this presentation, just showing you how to, uh, in a couple of minutes, uh, run uh, some, uh, some applications on the supercomputer on large uh, EEG uh, data set. Thank you.